Hello again internet people, this is the Java Kid with another JavaScript for Kids video and today we are doing something a bit special. We are creating a simple JavaScript AI. Now this will be the first version of the AI so it will be more limited in terms of capabilities but will still be pretty cool to make. With that said, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, I already have the first line of code here. It's pretty simple, it's just an alert um, and it says, Hi, my name is JavaSpot. Java bot and I will be your personal assistant and AI for today. So yes guys, we will be creating a JavaScript AI, just JavaScript, and um, it's not going to be that complicated and in terms of capabilities, it will be a little, little bit limited, but in the next episodes as we progress on and especially as we learn conditions like the if-else statements, we will be getting some better quality, better um, better more stronger ai and it will be able to do lots of stuff so with that said let's just jump right into it so here we have a simple alert and um i'm just going to copy another line of code i have ready for me down here and uh we just have another another just another alert here and it's just going to be saying, by using the power of robot mind reading, I will read your mind to tell you your lucky number. So this AI is kind of based on uh, just telling you your lucky number. And it's going to use its uh, kind of, um, uh, its, its robot mind telekinesis abilities to really find out what your lucky number is. So um, we are going to be using math random, so don't tell anybody that. Just show them your code. So... Here it is, pretty simple. We're going to be adding another variable here, so let me just copy it again. And here it is. So, to start off, the JavaScript bot is going to ask for the user's name. So, um, as far as we have our code right here, let's just run this and check how it's doing. Hi, my name is JavaBot. I'll be your JavaScript personal assistant and AI for today. So, let's press OK. By using the power of robot mind reading, I'll read your mind to tell you your lucky number. So let's press a get OK again. And it says to start off, I will need your name. So, of course, Java Kid. And, of course, it doesn't do anything else because we didn't put anything else. So now, the next one is going to ask for the user's favorite color. So let's say var color equals, oh, prompt. What is your favorite color? <laughs> and um, it's kind of creepy to admit that a robot can read your mind, but um, I mean, whatever. The Illuminati is a triangle, so anybody can do anything. And I'm not saying that this robot is part of the Illuminati, so yeah, I mean, yeah. So back from that uh, President Nixon conspiracy theory, um, let's actually get to our code and not talk about Illuminati's. So um, let's let's get to our code and the next the next uh, command here is going to be um, asking you if <laughs> you like Pokemon Go. Over here, let's create a variable called question equals prompt and says do you say yes to Pokemon Go because of course Pokemon Go plays a big role in your mind because um, it is a very big trend and um, it, it plays um, more than 10% of your mind I can say that because um, I do play Pokemon Go a lot even though he will say it's dead, but it's not dead. I know it's not dead. Pokemon Go will live on forever! So getting carried away is actually one of my talents in my JavaScript videos. And uh, let's get to the code now. Um, let's add in uh, an, an alert to uh, kind of uh, make the user feel like um, all this information the JavaScript uh, code is absorbing and let's just output it. So let's say alert. Ah, actually I'm gonna just uh, copy and paste here. 
So one second, guys. Here. There we go. It says all that. And here we go. Ah, I see. Your name is plus name. And your favorite color is plus color. And also, apparently, you say whatever you say to Pokemon Go. So, um, it's just taking everything we had uh, from all of our code and uh, out displaying it uh, right here. So, let's run our code uh, as it is right now. Check over here. Hi, my name is JavaScript. I'll be your JavaScript personal assistant and AI for today. By using the power of robot mind reading, I will read your mind to tell you your lucky number. To start off, I will need your name, Java Kid. What is your favorite color? Neon green. You say yes to Pokemon Go. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say yes. Ah, I see. Your name is Java Kid. Your favorite color is neon green. And also, apparently, you say yes to Pokemon Go. And then I say okay. Because, yes, Pokemon Go is still okay. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, now we're going to uh, get to the more interesting stuff and get to the power, the, the power of the computer where it uh, processes our mind power and uh, uses our electromagnetic brain emissions to uh, find out our lucky number. So let's say alert. And once again, I'm going to copy... Uh, some stuff over here. Just, just a simple, just um, kind of talk to the user to make it feel like this AI really is um, alive. Uh, I'm gonna copy another thing. All right. So we just added two alerts. Uh, one of the alerts said. Hmm, this is interesting. Give me a while to process your electromagnetic brain emissions. That is so scientific, guys. Electromagnetic brain... Man, this AI is crazy. <laughs> and then alert, processing. So, now we're going to get into the mathy stuff. So, let's see. Uh, actually, let's add in an another last alert uh, that says... Let's see. That says... Alert, I got it. Let me generate your lucky numbers. So now we are going to create a uh, we're start gonna get into we're gonna start getting into the math and we're gonna say variable math random equals to uh math dot round and then let's do math dot random not oh, not random um and let's multiply it by five to give us a number more stretched and let's run this right here although um of course this random number won't pop up let's just run it to see our code of course oh blah 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 blah, blah. need your name <laughs> uh what's your favorite color uh, <laughs> and then do you say yes to pokemon go oh yes i do <laughs> and then uh i see your name is <laughs> and your name is and your favorite color is <laughs> And I'll, oh, I, also apparently you say to Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, um, this is interesting. Give me a while to process your electromagnetic brain emissions. Processing, I I got it. Let me generate you your lucky number. And it does nothing because the math not random. What's not in the alert? So now let's create an alert for the math dot random to finally generate our lucky number. So before we uh, pop up our uh, lucky number, we want to create some kind of like tension for the user to kind of get um, kind of excited for their uh, lucky number. So and no, finally, your lucky number is, and then. We go alert math random and then let's just add in a couple of exclamation marks to make it kind of more bold. And this will create a bit of tension for the user, which will also help to the more realisticness of your AI and the more like quality of like human quality of your AI. So let's run this right here. Hi, my name is JavaScript. I will be your JavaScript personal assistant for AI today. 
Using the power of robot mind reading, I will read your mind to tell you your lucky number. To start off, I will need your name. Job like kid. What is your color? Neon green. Do you say yes to Pokemon Go? Oh yeah. And I see. Your name is Jungle Kid, your favorite color is neon green, and also you apparently you say oh yeah to Pokemon Go. This is interesting. Give me a while to process your electromagnetic brain emissions. Whoa. Processing? I got it. Let me generate your lucky number. And now, finally, your lucky number is... <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this kind of uh, weird but also really cool uh, video about JavaScript. If you did enjoy this video guys, please leave that big fat thumbs up and if you are really awesome, subscribe to my channel. Other than that, if you have any questions, please do feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And as always, remember to keep coding guys. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!